I'm Jerry Byrne, it's Irish Radio, and since uh, the advent of uh, COVID lockdown and all that, I've spoken to uh, many, many people involved in uh, music and uh, entertainment, and uh, I've got a, a gentleman now who has uh, had a lot of success from a young age indeed. He comes from uh, Mahrafelt. Uh, his uh, father has been involved in music for a long, long time. And uh, he's sort of uh, taken on the reins as well and uh, made uh, made quite a name for himself. His uh, latest album recently launched. It's The Little Things in Life, it's called. A new album, some great tracks on it. I'm delighted to say hello to Ben Corey. Ben, how are you? Not so bad, Jay. How are you? Not bad at all, Ben. Listen, lovely to, lovely to catch up with you. Uh, you've uh, you've always sort of been surrounded in music because your dad was a, a music performer. Yes, uh, well, whenever my dad was a young age, um, he's been out in the road singing, so he has. And then whenever I sort of got to the sort of same age, and around, I suppose, 13, 14, I started going out and uh, helping them at the local gigs and stuff like that. And sort of just... I agree, agree from there to where we're at today, you know, so uh, it's always uh, been in the family, singing and country music was always always played in the house and stuff, so I suppose it was, uh, it was the one road that was going to go down, so uh, <laughs> that's where we're at today, loving every step of it, you know. Indeed, well, listen, well, well done on, uh, well done on it all, and uh, you, you've recorded uh, uh, loads of material. You've also got uh, uh, your own uh, two piece out on the road as well. Uh, well, uh, excepting times like COVID, but uh, you wear you wear out on the road and busy. That's right. We're very, very busy, Jerry. So we're uh, we're flat to the mat right up until the last gig there, the seventh of March. You know. And I suppose nobody anticipated what was going to happen, but everything's up in the air for the future, what's going to happen, so we just have to sit tight and hope for the best, you know. Indeed, indeed, that's a... That's all uh, sort of any of us uh, can do. Uh, it, one thing for sure is that nobody but nobody uh, could ever have foreseen anything like this coming along. No, definitely not. You know, uh, um, as I was saying, like, we are talking earlier on about uh, sitting this time last year, you know, coming up to the Christmas party season and everything else, you, you would never have thought, hey, boys, we need to knuckle down here and try and get as many gigs in as possible before the shutdown, <laughs> you know? Yes. But, uh, you know, we're all in the same boat in this industry and sort of have to keep each other afloat and keep supporting each other through the good times and the bad times. And We're sort of going through a bit of a rough patch at the moment, but hopefully everybody can make the other side bigger and better than before. Indeed, indeed, that's the uh, you know that's that's the thing. But I mean, you you haven't been uh, uh, you, you know exactly uh, uh, lying around. You've been doing uh, plenty of things. You've been uh, you've taken out you recently took out uh, uh, the new album. It's uh, the little things in life. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, we had started the recording for the new album, Jerry, and then whenever the lockdown happened, uh, everything was left. And then whenever the restrictions started easy, we but we got back into the studio. And we started getting the tracks laid down, bits and pieces put together, and then finally we had our fourteen track album done. So uh, we've been doing live streams on Facebook, and uh, they've been going down really, really well for us. So uh, we decided we'll, we'll have a launch night for the album that was on the seventeenth of October past there, and it went fantastic for us. Uh, we couldn't have hoped for better, and uh, we got the album released, and it's going down really well for us so far, and. Uh, Thanks to you and for everybody for playing the album. We're getting great response from it, you know, and the album title was, we're sort of un, undecided in what to call it. And then we're sitting down the kitchen table one night having a cup of tea and a cup of coffee. And my mum, she says, what about, uh, there's a line in This Summer, which is the song that I wrote on the album. And she says, a, a great line, she says, and it just sums up 2020. It's the little things in life. And then that was it. That had to be the album title, you know. Excellent stuff, excellent stuff, and uh, I must say it is. You know, it is. It is a catchy. It is a catchy line on it. And uh, I have to say, the uh, you know the Facebook live streams and the launch that you did on the seventeenth of uh, October for it, uh, you know, really went well and a huge reaction. And uh, your 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 streams uh, and uh, streaming really has become the the the, the thing for uh, all artists or most artists really at the moment. Uh, a huge interest and a huge amount of people uh, watching. Yep. Uh you know, we've got people watching from all over the world. Uh, there's a few mates of mine out in Australia and stuff, and they've been uh, they've been showing the live streams whenever they're out there. And I've got a bit of a follow in Australia now, and uh, there's people there's people watching in Canada. Uh, there's a few people watching in California, and you know, then closer to home with friends over in Scotland and 
and Mail of Honor even, uh, that's been amazing where, where you connect with people whenever you're doing the live streams, you know, but, uh, no, they're fantastic for, for everybody doing live streams in the music business. Like, you know, you're, you still, uh, you get to promote yourself and get new audience, you know, new fans, everything else, you know, and connecting with the people's the main thing because it's great. You know, you can't see them face to face if you're out and, you know, playing a gig or at a concert or whatever, but getting to connect with them through the comments and, you know, having a bit of banter and crack, you know, it's brilliant. You know, and them in the comfort of their own homes too. Indeed, it is absolutely brilliant, you know, and and, uh, it's something that most uh, singers say to me uh, about uh, the one of the things that they really, really miss from performing is the fact of being able to meet people. That is it. You know, it's it's very strange. You know, I I love meeting and greeting people and, you know, you get to hear their stories and everything else and where they're from. But uh, whenever you're standing there with your mobile phone or your camera or something and you're reading off the screen, people certain comments to you it's not not exactly the same you know it's hard to beat whenever you get a big friendly handshake or a hug or whatever but uh, it'll be a while before we get back to that year I would say indeed indeed it will Ben you know at the at the moment with the with the, with the way things are looking uh, now the album uh, it's uh, you know must say some uh, lovely songs on it and there's one uh, one interesting one on it which is Nanny K uh-huh. uh huh yeah the album will have five original songs on it but uh, Nanny K I would say is my favourite out of them all um, my wee granny uh, she turned 90 last year and I wanted to do something special for her birthday so I decided to put pen to paper and I wrote a song basically just about our own story and her and how she read me from whenever I was a wee boy taking me to school and everything else you know and uh, Oka's great you know she's, uh, she's my best wee mate and um, they say like a, a fine wine, you get better with age, but she gets worse with age, so she does the <laughs> very laughter and crack out of her every day. I don't know where she picks up all the one-liners at, you know. <laughs> uh, you can really write a book on her. <laughs> that, that is excellent. That is excellent. Fabulous, fabulous stuff on it. You're well done on the, uh, you know, on the songwriting. That's something that uh, not everybody, not many can do, I should say. Uh, thank you, yeah. But uh, I suppose whenever the lockdown happened, you have a bit more, a bit more free time in your hands, and I sort of locked myself in the back room with a guitar, and sort of just sat down. And oh, I'm sure, I'm sure, maybe wrote maybe twenty songs all together, and then those songs that I wrote in the past, you know, you have to finish up tail ends them, or maybe put a chorus on them, or something like that. So it was basically just sitting down. It gave me something to look forward to as well, because. I was keeping the material fresh and writing new stuff and then when we went to the studio we're like, we'll try an original song today, we'll try this one, if that doesn't work out, we'll try that. And so it was great to be able to do that too because it puts a, a new spin on recordings, you know. Indeed, indeed. So, uh, you know, you, you, you can't beat, uh, you know, having some, uh, you, know, you know, new material. It must be, uh, uh, you know, it must be a, a, great, a great sort of a buzz to actually write a song and then record it. That's it, that's uh, it. It's like rearing your own tail sort of thing. That's, that's what my mum said to me. It's amazing, you know, from getting the idea in your head to paper and then taking them into the studio and putting down a basic track and then whenever all the musicians have their parts done and the magic sort of starts to happen and then you get the finished product. It's amazing, like, you know. It, uh, it's an amazing process to go through, you know, uh, writing your own songs and then getting the, the finished product in your hand. Indeed, indeed, it must be there. Must be sort of a tre- tremendous kind of excitement uh, when when you actually get it back after it's uh, finally mixed, and uh, you that know is that, that is it. That uh, is a brilliant. I know whenever you feel a great sense of pride, whenever you have the, the finished product in hand, especially whenever we get the the album finished, you know, and you're thinking of everything that went on this year, or how the odds divide us, you know, uh, to still be putting out. Uh, new music for everybody to hear like uh, that's great no. Indeed, indeed, it definitely, uh, you know, it definitely is. And, uh, you know, the album uh, appears to be getting, uh, you know, an absolutely cracking reaction so far. Yeah, it's going well first, definitely, Jay. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting great airplay and we've uh, got great radio coverage and the newspaper articles and everything, you know, and everybody seems to be enjoying it, which is the best thing. Uh, there's... Uh, we decided to put a few good old sing-alongs on it as well, 
a little wine drinker me and uh, with a great, great Irish medley on it there, good catchy and, and sing along. And uh, track number four on it, there's a funny story behind it. Uh, I had the album finished and recorded and everything and I landed home from the studio one day and I says to my dad, I says, right, that's all finished, all sorted, we can go and get the photographs and get the design and all sorted now. And he says, uh, has you got American Trilogy recorded yet? And I says, no, I didn't put it on. He says, well, don't you be thinking of putting an album out if you haven't got American Trilogy on it. <laughs> right. So we'll have to go back into the studio and American Trilogy is one of my dad's favourite songs, so we will have him in the studio as well and we'll put it out and it turned out tremendous. So yeah. I did really, really happy with the way it turned out. So Excellent. Excellent. I must say, it is, it is a great version on it uh, featuring, featuring your dad. Oh, thank you. It is excellent, absolutely excellent stuff, you know. So, uh, you know, glad, glad to uh, glad to see that uh, you, you know that that's happening, uh, even though uh, uh, the way things are at the moment. But uh, you know, fair play on on uh, well done on releasing the album and the the songwriting and everything else. It's uh, it's absolutely superb stuff. Uh, thank you, Jerry. Appreciate that. Thank you. You know, and uh, uh, listen, Ben. It's been it's been lovely to catch up with you. Really has, and uh, uh, yeah, I'll tell you, you're you're an inspiration in uh, in music. And uh, I wish yourself and uh, and your dad indeed uh, and your family all the very best of uh, of luck in the in the music. And uh, also, uh, you know, as they say, stay safe and stay healthy. Exactly, Jay. Thank you very much for having me on. Appreciate it, and hopefully we'll catch up soon after all this is all this is done and dusted, home and well.